If you guys would like to go ahead and purchase a cheap and instant GTA 5 modded account for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, then make sure you guys do check the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, what's going on? It's I Ryan here. Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this really epic clothing glitch that you could do after the patch of 1.39. And this clothing glitch is actually how you could get the bug style outfit. And yeah guys, if you do go to enjoy the video, please make sure you leave a like and hit subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post notifications to get notified when I upload an epic glitch just like this. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get straight into this. Okay guys, so this glitch is really, really simple, and all you need to do first off is just get any vehicle, as you can see, I use the Dukes, it could be a personal vehicle or not, it doesn't really matter, and then guys, drive over to any clothing store on the map, it doesn't really need to be a certain clothing store, just any, and then guys, go inside the clothing store, go into the outfit section, and then scroll down until you see heist coveralls, then guys, equip the first option, which should be the red coveralls, and then guys, once you've actually equipped the red coveralls and purchased it, all you need to do is just step outside, but before you do actually step outside, open your interaction menu, go down to secure serve, and just register as a CEO. Then guys, get into your personal vehicle or any vehicle you brought, open your interaction menu, go down to secure serve CEO, go down to management style, go once to the left, once to the right, very very quickly, and if you exit the car, you will notice you will actually have the bugged outfit. Now the downside with this glitch guys is if you leave the session you are in, you will lose this outfit and you'll have to do the glitch again, and also you can't save it. So pretty much it's useless, but if your friends are in the same session and they come over to you, they'll probably be very very lost on how you actually got this outfit, they'll probably go in the clothing store looking for it, and they'll probably ask you how the hell you got the bugster outfit, and then you can just show them this glitch. Now I did try it with different coloured overalls and it doesn't really work, it only works with the red one, not really sure why, but it's a cool glitch nonetheless. And yeah guys, that is all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please make sure you leave a like and hit subscribe, and don't forget to turn post notifications on to get notified when another epic glitch has come out on my channel. But yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace. Hey what's going on everybody, my name is Typical and welcome back to another video here on to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to obtain a tiny racer's outfit after patch 1.39. Shout out to Inferno HD for guessing the number, if you guys do want a shout out make sure to try to guess the number that I'm thinking, and you will receive a shout out in my next video. So with that being said, let's hop straight into today's video. So what you guys want to do is go to Secure Serve, go to Management, go to Style and change to the Demon Outfit, and then you want to start up the Adversary Mode called Tiny Racers. When you spawn in, just invite any of your friends or randoms and then just confirm settings and then start the job. Then once you guys get in the job, all you guys want to do is make sure to ready up. When you spawn in, just start driving or stay, it does not matter. Open up your pause menu, go over to style, go down until you see illuminated clothing and then spam right on the d-pad for 10 to 20 seconds. After you do that, all you want to do is go over to your PlayStation dashboard, go over to library, go to applications, open up YouTube or Netflix and it will suspend. Go back to GTA and it will say that you suspended the application, just hit OK, and then wait till you spawn in. So what you guys want to do is when you spawn in, open up its interaction menu, go to Sekiro serve, go to retire, and you will see that you do have the outfit. Now all you guys want to do is just go over to your wardrobe and save it. And then you want to save it in two outfit slots just to make sure that it does stick. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Typical and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel for another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video. In today's video guys, I will be showing you how to obtain the hand cost on any outfit after the patch of 1.39. Now, I am re-uploading this guys because I uploaded the old method to my channel and a lot of you guys were getting confused because it wasn't working for you guys and like the new method was like, it wasn't on there because it was like the second method uh, for the direct mode. So I'm re-uploading this guys to just show you the new method and how to obtain the handcuffs after the patch of 1.39. But before we do get into this guys, make sure you drop this video a like, also subscribe if you're new to my channel, so it does not upload from me in the future such as this, and as always guys, make sure you hit a little bell if you are new as well guys, but anyway guys, let's get straight into today's video. So the first thing you want to do guys, is you want to go ahead and make the outfit I'm making right now in the gameplay, you can change the pants and everything like that guys, but I do recommend you keep the top, because that does have the checkered um, top on it, and you will need it for this glitch, because it only says it works with the like off shoulder tops and everything like that guys but watch my direct mode bypass video if you don't know how to do the bypass as well but just make sure you do close your application before you do this glitch but if you have already done that from all my other videos then you'll be able to do this direct mode glitch a lot faster and easy but all you want to do from here is you want to save as an outfit then you want to swap to your male character and then when you have loaded in on your male character you want to switch to either one of the story mode characters like Michael or Franklin or Trevor it does not really matter guys but make sure you do have a garage with those characters but when you have loaded in story mode guys you want to launch up director mode and you want to go ahead when you are in direct mode you want to just uh, go to actors you want to go to online characters and you want to go ahead and select your first GT online character which should be a male character as I'm doing in the gameplay I'm selecting my male character then when you have loaded into the game guys, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and walk around in the game for in about uh, 30 seconds at the most guys. It's just to let the game save and everything like that. And um, as I'm doing it in the gameplay, I'm just walking around Michael's house right now. And then when you have done this, you want to head down the D-pad and you want to go ahead and return back to the trailer. Then when you have returned back to the trailer guys, all you want to do from here is you want to go to your profile. You want to go ahead and go to your recent activities. And you want to find one that looks a bit like this. It can be your friend's recent activity, it does not really matter guys. But you want to just select start Grand Theft Auto Online. And what you should notice guys, when you do load back into the game, you will get two alert messages. You want to decline them both. And then you want to go to special characters. And you want to select the special character called Jesse. When you have selected the special character called Jesse, guys, you will be frozen in this little screen. You want to open up your interaction menu. And you want to go up five times. Then X. Then up another time. Then X again. And once you notice, you can walk around there for that, guys. From here, you want to go ahead and hit start. You want to go over to online. And you want to select uh, choose character, and then when you have selected choose character, guys, you want to select your female character when you are in the character selection screen. When you have selected your female character, guys, you will be in a little loan screen for like two minutes at the most, guys. I'm not really too sure how long, but it's a pretty long loan screen. But you just want to go ahead and wait in that loan screen until you get an alert message that looks a bit like that. You want to go ahead and uh, confirm that alert message or hit X on it. And you want to load into story mode as normal. When you have loaded into story mode, guys, all you want to do from here is you want to close your application. And you want to go ahead and reopen it again. And you want to do the bumper clear thing that we do all the time, like the L1 R1 thing. So as soon as you get past the bikini girl holding up the iPhone um, phone and everything like that, guys, you want to just go ahead and hold L1 R1 through all the flashing lights and everything like that as well, guys. Until you get a display calibration. Now you can change your brightness and everything like that if you want to, but I just go ahead and confirm it anyway. It doesn't mess anything up in the glitch or anything like that, but you just want to confirm the display calibration and you want to load into story mode as normal. Then once you have loaded into story mode guys, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and hit start, you want to go to online and you want to go into an event only session. It doesn't really matter guys, but you will get a Rockstar Games online policy, you want to go ahead and accept that and hit submit. And what you should know is when you load in the Grand Theft Auto 5 online, you should have the outfit that you did select. Now I did have another outfit that I was trying to transfer over, which basically had like the checkered um, pants there for that, but the other outfit. But that didn't transfer over properly, so I did uh, make another outfit and it does look a bit like this. But the outfit does look pretty cool and unique. Um, take full advantage of the direct mode launch as well guys before it does get patched. Because I know Rugs they will probably patch it uh, completely next time when a new hotfix or anything like that does come out. But if you did find this video really helpful, make sure you drop this video a like. Also subscribe if you're new to my channel, so it will not for me in the future such as this. And so as guys, make sure you hit a little bell if you're new as well guys. But anyway guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, good day. Peace.